Transformers, the classic cartoon beloved by every kid in the 1980s, along with the mandatory collectible Transformer toys, has recently gone through a rebrand, and now they're the transgenders. Paramount Plus, the streaming service run by Paramount Pictures, has a computer-generated Transformers series called Transformers Earth Speak that introduced a gender non-binary Transformer and a gender non-binary carbon-based life form, a human, this um, person, who, of course, has blue hair in order to send out a bat signal to other gender benders, that that is how they identify. This is the character Nightshade. My pronouns are they, them. Thanks. I'm Sam. I'm oh. she, they, but you already know that. <laughs> of course we do. Your blue hair is a dead giveaway along with your rainbow purse and your pronoun pin. Wow. What an amazing city. <laughs> I'm sorry for how I reacted. It's just, sometimes the world can be a scary place. It is scary. All they wanted was the right to get married, they said, but now look what they're doing to the children. It's hard to know who's dangerous or not. Not really. It's the adults who want to talk to you about your gender and sexuality. Stay away from them. That's true, though disappointing. Hey, it's okay. I know I'm safe when I'm with my friends or other non-binary people. Non-binary? People who aren't female or male. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have assumed. I always knew my pronouns felt right, but... What a wonderful word for a wonderful experience. What a wonderful experience Transformers is teaching the children to be confused about whether or not they're a boy or a girl. This is classic cultural Marxism. And while this clip, and there's another one I'll show you in just a second, just started going viral, it's actually a six-month-old cartoon. Last November, when the series went live, the producers sent out a press release giving a heads up to all of their allies in the media that they were going to do this. And then there were articles like this one that we all missed until some parent finally happened to watch the cartoon and caught that clip and recorded it on their phone and then posted it on social media and now it's going viral. A new non-binary robot is joining the Transformers. Say hello to Nightshade. Here's Optimus Prime going through a struggle session to learn how to use the preferred pronouns of Nightshade. Of course. Um, Morgan, can you switch, uh... Nightshade's pronouns are they, them. He or she just doesn't fit who I am. My apologies. Please switch their piece. Now, the plan. Optimus Prime is sorry. You won't be sorry, though, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here and check back on a regular basis. But stay tuned, because there's plenty more to come in this video. Charlize Theron, who adopted two black babies from Africa, because that used to be the ultimate virtue signal in Hollywood, until the transgender craze came along. So now she is raising both of them as girls, and she is a proud transgender parent. And she is upset that normal parents don't want drag queens to be anywhere around children because, of course, drag is and always has been an adult form of entertainment. We love you, queens. We love, love you, queens. We're in the corner, and we've got you, and I will f anybody up who's, like, trying to f with anything with you guys. It's really, in all seriousness, there's so many things that are hurting and really killing our kids. Yes, you should look in the mirror and you would see one of the culprits. This was at some recent drag queen rights fundraiser called Drag's Not Dangerous, where another no-name actress, Marsha Gay Harden, revealed this statistical impossibility. I'm just curious, what drives you to be such an incredible ally and advocate for our community? This is such a crazy question because I don't see what the big problem is. Yeah. What is the big one? Why are we even having to do this to advocate for human beings and lifestyle and imagination and creativity? But what, what, it, what drives me is because it's right. 
because yeah. what is happening right now is wrong and the reductive behavior in the states that's happening right now is wrong. What drives me is my children are all queer. My eldest child is non-binary, my son is gay, my youngest um, is uh, fluid and you know, they're my kids and I... You have Munchausen by proxy and you should be arrested. And the children don't know any better because they have Stockholm Syndrome. It was six years ago now, as some of you may recall, that MTV, Marxist Television, had their Gender Non-Binary MTV Movie Awards, which is their version of the Oscars, which was hosted by a gender non-binary D-list actress named Asia K. Dillon. And the first award was given to Emma Watson, who came on stage and praised the groundbreaking, gender-neutral award show. Of course, myself and many other YouTubers denounced, mocked, and ridiculed this because we were trying to stop this ideology from spreading, but now, unfortunately, it's found everywhere, from the Disney Channel and Nickelodeon to the Transformers. Four and a half years ago now, Good Morning America, the staple morning show on ABC, tried to normalize drag kids by featuring Desmond is Amazing, to a salivating Michael Strahan, which should have caused, even back then, a national outrage. But fast forward to 2023, this kind of behavior is now seen as normal amongst the entire Democrat Party. And guess who has the top thumbed up comment on this video from four years ago? Of course, yours truly, with 13,000 thumbs up, where I said this boy's parents and everyone involved in this segment should be in prison. And of course, every single top thumbed up comment is denouncing this absolute abomination. And if you're wondering why you can see the old thumbs down rating on this video, which is obviously about a 98% thumbs down rating. It's because there's an extension or a plugin that you can get for Firefox browser, maybe for Chrome as well, I'm not sure. And I think it's called bring back the dislike button. And at least up until now, it works. Something else I'm sure you'll like is my new wanted for president shirt, which you should order from markdice.com or click the link in the description below. I made it like one of those old fashioned Western wanted posters. So it has that cool distressed look. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out. <laughs>